A man takes off his seatbelt while colliding with an 18-wheeler in Cleveland this morning. Good evening. Thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 6. I'm Calvin Snead. I'm Kim Chapman. Seatbelts are often credited with saving lives in horrific car crashes. But the unusual action of a driver that he took is surprising everyone tonight. News Channel 9's Drew Balea shows us how the man survived a startling accident. A morning accident on APD 40 in Cleveland had all the makings to be fatal, but this one had a much different ending. Well, I've seen it coming. I don't want to, you know, chop my head off. Brandon Evans was on his way to work around 7 this morning. I seen the truck pull out in front of me, and I was going to go around the front of him, and I, there wasn't no room, so I couldn't go around the back rear either, so I hit it right in the center. The gold Honda Accord was sliced in half and turned into a convertible. There wasn't nothing I could do except for getting down real low. In a matter of seconds, Evans slammed on his brakes and tried to slide down in his seat, but the seat belt actually got in the way. So I had to flick it off to get down as low as I could. The impact inevitable. Hoping I was going to make it through it, you know. It's by the grace of God I did. Evans climbed out of what was left of the driver's side window with only minor scrapes and bruises. It's dumbfounding if you look if you look at the at the vehicle and you really wonder how this guy actually escaped alive. Evie West with the Cleveland Police Department says they work similar wrecks every day, but rarely see this result. So it's actually a miracle because we see these things a lot and um, yeah, they don't usually survive. I'm thankful. Praise the Lord that I'm you know I'm here. Traffic was back up and running after a couple hours, and police tell me that no charges have been filed as of yet. In Cleveland, Drew Belea, News Channel 9. The truck driver declined to talk on camera, but he told us he's been driving trucks for 30 years and has never had an accident like that before. He also says he's thankful no one was seriously hurt. 